my VIPs, it's been a while since I've done another story time. It doesn't have to do with anybody else but, like, me and my family. But anyways, let's get into it, because this one's gonna be stupid, okay? The title is probably gonna be, it's probably gonna be about what I'm gonna fucking talk about. Like, what else is this gonna be about? No, just kidding. But anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so I was younger and heavier, probably about like 200 pounds and whatnot. Um, right now I'm 150. Back then I was around 200 to 215, and I was around 14 or 15 years old. When I tell you, bro, we went to boxing because it was a good idea. Me and my little sister were overweight. My mom and dad were also overweight. Um, only the other kids weren't and whatnot but still despite that we thought it would be fun to go boxing right for the first time as a family so we went out to this place where they did a group boxing session and like you know where we punch punch then you know like it was kind of like a dancing one punch punch shimmy shimmy it was fucking fun i got i gotta be honest with you the problem with me was that i was constipated for four days prior to doing this right so we did this as a kind of like fun exercise bonding type of motion right the problem with doing all this shit was I was sweating bullets, okay? I don't know if their air conditioning just did not exist, but there was no air conditioning in that place. There were fans that blew out hot air. Did I tell you it was during the summer? I don't think I did. <laughs> it was during the summer. And group session, it had to have had around damn near 30 people in a closed spot too. We didn't even use the full gym like or boxing area. It was kind of like a gym boxing area. We didn't even use the full one. We used the corner with 30 people very close together with each our own punching bag right hanging up from the ceiling with hot ass gloves and hot air blowing back at us <laughs> i was gonna fall out <laughs> god damn i'm gonna be knocked the fuck out like, hey, i don't know what to tell you i was gonna be just just gone on the floor but anyways we started and by 10 minutes after just a few hits to the punching bag, it had occurred to me that I was not ready for any of the f what the fuck was going to happen, okay? I was not ready for any of that shit. Ten minutes went by. I was sweating. I could have sworn I was seeing multiple people. And I'm being, I may be dramatic with it a little bit, but no, every time this man talked, he was the host. He's the one that does, like, the music in the background. He was just like, okay, one, two, let's get it, one, two, let's get it. And it'd be like, punch, punch, bringing our knees up to our chest and then punch, punch, and then doing some other ones, taking a short break. And by short, I mean literally five seconds and then punching again. I was like, oh my fucking gosh, what the hell? Like, I was just like, oh my gosh, bro. I breathe in. <laughs> Tell me why I don't remember breathing out. Like, <laughs> like, damn. But every time he spoke, I just felt, I felt like I was in the same room as him. I was just like, what is going on, man? So after that 10 minutes, it had occurred to me that my stomach was moving. Like, it was moving. It was moving in, you already know how digestive tract and whatnot, how it moves when you're about to... <laughs> take a dumpy like the fuck okay so it was moving right and this was the first time in four days to where i felt stopped up just I, I kept eating bad shit i could cook my own food around since i was 12 so i'd be making my own food which consists of me frying a bunch of shit or just heating stuff up in the oven or just actually preparing my own food but it's never with actually vegetables and shit like that it's just with a lot of unhealthy shit right and I would do it when my parents weren't around and then I would eat food that my parents would make. But sometimes I would make my own food and it would not be healthy. So it was a combination of all that type shit. My own parents' food and my own food. And when I tell you that I just made a brick in my stomach for four whole days. And then we went to this thing and my stomach started moving like a fucking train. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it was like, I like bushed it. I was like, oh, <laughs> I thought I pulled something, right? I would say I thought I pulled a muscle, but I was basically marshmallow fluff. Like, I didn't have that much muscle in... I had muscle in my body, just not as much. Like, I was overweight. I was short. I still am short. Like, I'm shorter then than now, though. So, the moment I did my last punch, I, like... I almost killed over, but I was still standing. So, it's kind of just like that. Oh, like, when someone kicks you in the stomach or when a... Like, a... I don't know a basketball or soccer ball a soccer ball kicks you in the fucking stomach and stuff like that um that was my sister texting <laughs> my sister texting but anyways yeah 
I killed over and I just couldn't anymore. And the host was trying to find me. I was just like, you know what? He's just like, oh yeah, there's a little one. I don't see her anymore. And he was right behind my punching bag. And I was just like, oh my fucking God, he tried to find me. So I was shimmying away. I couldn't move completely. I was shimmying to the bathroom because bitch, I just, that's the only place I could go. <laughs> he was going to try to have me just punch the punching bag five more times and some shit like that. No, hey, I need to go sit down right now. So I went to the bathroom. My mother, she was kind of positioned behind me, I think, from my memory. And she saw I went to the bathroom. And when I tell you, she was knocking on the door, just like, hey, you okay? You okay? They thought I like pulled a muscle or something. No. <laughs> Yo, I I destroyed their bath. No, I just <laughs> I ain't shit for that. I destroyed their bathroom, bro. No, dead ass. It was, like, unlocked. She knocked on the door, but I don't think she, like, realized it was unlocked. I told her it was unlocked. And she was just like, hey, what's wrong? I was sweating bullets. And I was just killed over in the bathroom. At first, my pants were, like, off. And well, let's not get into that. I'm gonna just cut that out. <laughs> you know, let's not get into that. I was just sitting, basically. I'm gonna just say like that. I was sitting on this dirty ass toilet just i was so tired i couldn't move like dead ass i was so tired i couldn't even arrange to do what you do in a bathroom basically so i was just sitting there it was like that you know popeye's worker and whatnot that meme of the popeye's worker after the chicken sandwich fiasco where there's just truth is i'm tired it just killed over just like <laughs> like they're tired of the job bitch that was me i was tired i was sweating i was 200 pounds but i was only five feet and like i was 14 and shit like oh my fucking gosh and then i'm working out and i've been constipated and now it's just like damn <laughs> nigga i was going through it like i can't tell you was going through it so when we came out right um my mother left afterwards and then i basically did i destroyed yeah um, <laughs> I'm, I'm so stupid oh my gosh I'm, I'm saying i'm so stupid because i was watching freddy fazbear and now i'm just talking about the time where i basically was disrespectful to the boxing um gym's toilet area so it's just like yeah you know what the fuck am i doing anyways you've heard worse story times you'll be fine <laughs> you'll be fine bitch. okay i could go in it but no you know but I got out of there. Everybody was asking where I was at. Because the host was also asking where I was at. Because you can't really miss a short black girl who was in his line of view. I was right in front of him. That was right in front of him. So, yeah. It was just a boxing. It was just a um, punching bag separating us. Um, me and the host. So, it's like you can't really miss a, a short, fat black girl right unless it's like okay you must have been imagining something because <laughs> what the fuck but yeah he was trying to find me he thought i was just playing with him around the punching bag area so the rest of my family was already done and basically the it was an hour long session i was in there no lie out most of the hour i was in the bathroom most of the hour like i literally could not come out like it was okay but <laughs> Oh my fucking gosh. I don't know if I'm gonna put this on YouTube. Um Yeah, I was in there for like a good forty minutes. Like I was just like, damn man. And then I came out and my mom made a joke. She was just like, Well in the car, they made a joke, just like, damn, that boxing match, hey, that worked the shit out of you. I was like, you know what? <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> No, and they were all laughing at it. Like, why are y'all laughing? I can't. I don't think I'll ever be allowed back here anymore. Of course, I cleaned afterwards. Yes, but it wasn't. Oh my gosh, I make it seem like I blew ass around the thing. I did not do that. Um. I hope editing me can do the things that I'm thinking in my head right now. I can't. Anyways. <laughs> if I put it on CapCut, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. Mm, I'll find a way. But anyways, I'm not editing anything out, by the way. Y'all are fine. Y'all haven't had a video from me in a while. A full-length one. But yeah, um, we were in the car. Mom made that joke. 
and I was just, I laughed too, cause that ass, bro, like, ugh. I didn't blow ass on the toilet. I'm always, well, we're we're a clean family, goddammit. So of course, if anything were to occur, we're not gonna just leave it how it is. The reason why I'm saying I destroyed it was because I was in there for 40 minutes. There was 30 plus people. Like I say, there was 30 people, but there was also other people on the other side of the gym, and those were the only bathrooms in that area. So I'm over here just thinking, like, I'm literally preoccupying this entire thing for 40 minutes. So yeah. And I can't, I couldn't leave. I felt bad and I was just like, damn it, I should leave. But every time I would get up, my stomach would be like, bitch, <sighs> put the money in the fucking bag. <laughs> just put the money in your bag. But yes, like, went home and whatnot. Mom and dad went to this place to get daiquiris, a jug of um strawberry daiquiris and whatnot. And then they were just like, hey, so raising case it is. And they turned around. When I tell you, I was hanging in my head because I was rethinking everything. And then my head went up like, I was like, <laughs> like, he was my fat ass. I can't. Um, this is not me hating on myself. I've always been a foodie, you know. Even now, even though I'm not the same way I was back then, I'm. I still like food a lot. I just don't eat as much, or I can't eat in big portions. I've never been able to eat in huge portions unless it's the like a huge amount of the same food. If it's like multiple foods, I can't eat huge amounts of multiple foods i can eat huge amounts of one food like tacos i can eat huge amount of tacos but i can't eat huge amounts of tacos and then go and eat huge amounts of fries i can't do that it just doesn't work for me but yeah i've always been a foodie so it was never i'm not hating on myself for like what i was back then i'm actually pretty much glad pretty much glad that I was more happy as a kid. Like, I was a happy-go-lucky kid. Gullible, naive, but very happy. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I'm not hating on myself. Shit, and I still love raising kids to this day. So, hey, hey fuck with your girl. Like, hey, <laughs> at me, please. Hey, you know, that type shit. So anyway, that's the end of this video. Uh, yeah, how am I going to do that? Is there going to be like a... Can I do thumbnails? Do I know how to edit a thumbnail? Oh god, I sound like an actual YouTuber. Oh gosh, when did I stop making low quality shit? So like I can't. I still do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, anyways, that's gonna be it. I'm just rambling on for now. I don't know what I'm gonna title this. I knew at the beginning, but I may have to redo it because it literally you can't curse in your titles. Um I never have, but this time around, I just it's, it just fits to just be like, oh, blue ass on the toilet. But no, I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, that's gonna be the end for this video. I'm very glad I made this so I can go back to watching Freddy Fazbear and shit. <sighs> I'm not getting out of this rabbit hole. Ciao, anyways, that's it. And may peace be with you for an eternity.